This is the Wi-Fi Man Wizard from the Ubiquiti, a portable spectrum analyzer designed for the Wi-Fi Man iOS app as well as the Android app. So today we will unbox it and see what we get inside the box and we will set up it for the very first time. Let's get started. So this is the box of the Wi-Fi Man Wizard. So we open it from here. Let's uh, set up it for the very first time and I have to first charge it, then only it will work. So I will charge it and then I will show you how you can set up and you can attach it to the iPhone backside which use a MagSafe. So the MagSafe support is available for the Wi-Fi and app. So uh, I will get back after charging this and I will show you the setup so you can see the closely here uh, the on and off button of the MagSafe so Wi-Fi and Wizard let me focus the screen and this is a charging slot and I have to charge it with the cable here so if I open it it is not opening at the moment so I have to charge it first and then I will put in the this case. After that, we will connect on the iPhone and then the spectrum analyze. As soon as you put on the charging, you can see the signal it is charging at the moment. The Wi-Fi Man Wizard is updated. As you can see the GUI effect. It says the Wi-Fi Man Wizard 2BB, and you can see the spectrum all 2.4 and 5 gigahertz channel and you can here is the channel health you can check for 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz if you look from the back side it's connected via maxi so it's pretty handy even you can use the key fob and put it on your bag or keychain if you need a requirement if you want to travel it's a portable spectrum analyzer as soon as you connect your wi-fi man wizard it says new device found and you can connect to it and it will shows up you the scanning of your nearby access point and the nearby ssid here you can check the stats of the wi-fi man wizard uh, what's the battery firmware version and even you can check the compliance detail of it you can disconnect it from here on the screen when you click on the side ssid scan it will show you all of the ssid which is uh, broadcasting nearby you can check the channel health also on this uh, screen so similarly for the 2.4 gigahertz which channel is used on that access point so channel number six you can see these access point are using and what's the signal strength you can check here so you can determine uh, and uh, make a choice which channel to be used channel 11 uh, use uh, on this access point so you can uh, make a changes according to that on the channel 5 gigahertz uh, similarly you can see uh, the channel 44 is using on the u6 pro and what's the channel uh, bandwidth it's using 40 megahertz so you can similarly make a note of that of your network you can scan and check the channel health for each access point here you can check the brand manufacturer of access point similarly it's a u6 pro manufacturer ubiquity what ssid it's given bssid security in the physical mode and the frequency what frequency is it connected at the moment so it gives you all the details of your channel so you can plan accordingly to that so here if you scan it it will show you all the society with the signals in the channel and under the channel health so uh, it gives you a uh, options to scan and uh, design your nearby network and channel according uh, to that even with the wi-fi man wizard you can use uh, a floor plan map to scan your network so my final thoughts on the wi-fi man wizard why you need 
so the only reason i see if you are an ios user you must buy it uh, this is an extra hardware you can purchase it from the ubiquity us stores it comes on the 99 dollar so it's a quite uh, i mean uh, the price is uh, uh, i mean not much high uh, you get all the details of your networks like if you want to scan your Wi-Fi networks to know the nearby access point, signal strength, uh, your channel strength, uh, what uh, frequency it is running, if the channel is too noisy, uh, you will get all the um, details and features when using the Wi-Fi Man app, this wizard comes handy. But if you are an Android user, you don't required a Wi-Fi Man wizard extra hardware due to the ch uh, chipset uh, issues in, in the Apple iOS devices you need this extra hardware also there are other reasons uh, to purchase it uh, for the Wi-Fi Man wizard ha hardware because uh, for some reason if you are running your uh, l controller Unify network application locally uh, by installing uh, on your PC or uh, Linux uh, whether Ubuntu or you are self hosting on a cloud hosted controller like a Hostify so when you run the Wi-Fi Man app on your iPhone or uh, it won't show you all the features like uh, it won't show you uh, the details of that access point everything the features is not uh, I mean uh, less features but with using Wi-Fi Man wizard you get all the details like you can scan your uh, nearby network check the channel strength throughput latency even you can add the floor plan map but also that uh, that that required uh, features on the phone if your phone support AR features then only the floor plan maps uh, uh, you can do the scanning and save your floor plan map so this device is handy and it's a uh, it's a portable spectrum analyzer it has a battery on it uh, like a on a single charge it gives you 244 hours back of your uh, uh, signal um, uh, I mean uh, scanning your uh, channel so I mean it's quite useful in your network uh, uh, environment if you are a professional you must use this uh, so you can uh, uh, aware of your nearby networks uh, make your Wi-Fi stable reliable which channel you want to use which frequency you want to use that so it's a pretty uh, good devices must buy so I hope you will like this video thanks for watching bye